Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over how to create an Outlook email account. I know in one of my previous videos, I went over how to set up a Gmail account. This is for people who want to kind of shy away from Google and make a Outlook 365 account. So before we begin, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and it helps the channel a lot. So. Let's just jump right into it. What I want you to do is pick a web browser of your choosing, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, whatever you guys are comfortable with. I'm gonna just jump into Microsoft Edge, like so. You're gonna to go to www.outlook.com. Hit enter. Here you'll be presented with the Microsoft Outlook layout. You're going to click on create free account. All right, so from here, pretty standard, it says create account, put a new email. I'm going to do tick help. And then I'll have this on outlook.com. You can do Hotmail too, but I. I prefer Outlook. Outlook's the, the default of everyone knows Outlook. Um, not a lot of people are familiar with Hotmail, even though it's kind of the same thing. So then just hit next. Here, make a password. And then you can leave this ticked or untick it. It's just if you want more information, tips on Microsoft products, I just unticked it. So hit next. I'll put your name in, put that, put your last name in, like so, I hit next, put your birthday, next, then you're going to get this little character box that you have to enter the characters below as you see them. I'm just going to hit new so I can get a clear one here. All right, so Y, V, S, J, Q, V, L, P, X. Hit next. Uh, if you want, well, I'm using Edge, but it's just asking if I want to save the password to not log in all the time. I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to close this out. So right now it's just loading your email address. So there it is. You're now in your Outlook inbox. You have your folders and everything over here. You have your inbox folder, your sent items, your drafts. Pretty simple stuff. Um, to write a new email to somebody, just click on the new message button, top left-hand corner. And put the re you can put the recipient's email in the to address. Add a body, you can add a subject, and then you just hit send, and then it will go to your recipient. So I'm going to discard that message. Uh, one of the benefits of having a Outlook account, just like having a Gmail account gets you access to Google Drive and the apps that are part of that, which is Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. By having an Outlook email address, you have access to these apps right here. So if you click on this top left-hand corner, the app launcher, you have access to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and these are all online applications. So they travel with you, just kind of like the Google apps travel with you. These also travel with you once you're signed in with your Outlook account. So once you're signed in and you click on, let's say, Word, it'll take you to Word's words interface and just click on whatever you want to do. I'll do new blank document. It's 
It's going to load up Word here. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, you can start typing. It's it might it's the full version of Microsoft Word. It's not the desktop application. It's actually the um, part of the Outlook suite. So this saves automatically to what's called a OneDrive. Google has Google Drive. Outlook has OneDrive. Um, don't get them confused because they're both you know separate drives, but they both do the same thing. So OneDrive can save your documents just like Google Drive can. And I don't want you to get too confused. In another video, I'll go over the basics of OneDrive. Um, but I just wanted to show you that if you have an Outlook account, you can use Word, Excel, and PowerPoint as the applications that you would if you use them on a desktop or a laptop. So yeah, so that was today's video on how to create an Outlook email address. This is for people who don't want to create a Gmail address. They're used to Microsoft products. They're used to Outlook. Uh, maybe if you're looking to create an extra email or a side email or business email, this is how you do it through Outlook. Pretty simple. So, yep, so that was it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.